Have you ever found yourself wondering how some players with seemingly less powerful setups than yours seem to be running Warzone with way more FPS? Well, in today's video, we're gonna be covering every setting in Warzone to make sure your game is running smoothly. We will also be covering a few settings tweaks that should give you a little bit of a competitive advantage. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, we're gonna start by opening up settings. So the first thing you wanna do is go to keyboard and mouse. In this video, we were only gonna be covering mouse and keyboard. We're not gonna give you any controller settings. So uh, let's get started. Mouse sensitivity. Now this value is incredibly personal. We do recommend leaving all of these as the default. You should not be changing these values. Your mouse sensitivity, I play mine on four with 800 DPI, but this is just something that what feels right for you and what you like to play with so that's a personal choice ads uh leave this on one uh, ads sense multiplier leave it on one this one on relative monitor distance coefficient 1.33 now custom sensitivity per zoom you want this off this one you don't have to change anything third person you want to put this on precision mouse calibration do not change anything and use system mouse cursor off now for keybinds. This again is a personal choice. Uh, you can play with the default ones. The default ones are pretty good. I do make a few changes because I do not like to use my pinky when playing mouse and keyboard. So I have to change a few things. But again, that's a personal choice. I'm just scrolling so you can see my settings if you want to copy them. Now on gameplay, this is where things become important. Crouch behavior. I like leaving mine on toggle. I feel like uh, if you don't know toggle, it means you just press it once and you'll be crouched until you press it again. Or you can choose the hold option where you have to press your crouch bind to remain crouched. Prone behavior. We like leaving this on go to. Go to is pretty much you press it and pressing again doesn't do anything. It's your go to. Exactly what that means. Uh, automatic sprint. Here you'll definitely want to put it on tactical sprint. So your default run will always be tactical sprint. In this game, your movement is the most important thing. So I recommend leaving this on automatic tactical sprint. Slide maintain sprint, you want to keep this on. Tactical sprint behavior, single tap run. Close backpack on sprint on because uh, you don't want to be stuck on your backpack menu when you're getting rushed by someone. So your print bind will automatically cancel your backpack. Walk behavior hold, automatic airborne mantle off, automatic all ground mantle hang off, off. Then you want to put this one on independent. Slide dive behavior on standard, parachute auto deploy. I like having this off because you want to open your parachute when you're a about to land right in the last second otherwise you might get just shot out of the sky so put this setting on off now on combat behaviors aim down sight behavior you want to put this one on hold change zoom activation on melee focus behavior on hold equipment behavior on hold weapon mount activation on weapon mount toggle again we've explained what toggle means you want to keep the setting off this one ads plus melee on toggle apply all and grouped the armor plate behavior apply all means you're not gonna be like you have to press every time you want to put a plate so it just puts all the plates you need to be full hp so i feel like this is very practical now on vehicle behaviors you want to put this one on always enabled vehicle camera off behind vehicle and melee now over play this behaviors i have all of these on uh, the default ones so yeah, I, th I feel like these mouse and keyboard settings are the best ones. So try them out, see if you like them or not. But these are pretty standard. I feel like these should be the default ones for the game. Now we're going to go on over to graphics. You want to have this one on full screen exclusive. This will give you the best quality and FPS. The display monitor is whatever the monitor you're playing on. Your display adapter, make sure to choose your graphics card. Screen refresh rate, you want to put this one on the highest value. If you bought a higher hertz monitor than it's showing here, it's probably because you haven't activated it. If you want to activate it, just follow the following steps. If your game isn't showing the refresh rate that you want, you want to go on over to settings. Just type it in here, settings, open it up, go to system and you're gonna go on this on the display tab here so you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna go to advanced display settings and here you will see the option for your refresh rate just press on it and select the highest value it's that simple some people forget to do this sometimes when they get a new monitor but it's pretty much that simple you can also go to your other display if you have more than one monitor and switch this value here as well really that simple 
Now we're back to the settings. Display resolution. You want to put this one on the one that says auto. Mine is a 2K monitor, so this is the default resolution. Aspect ratio automatic. Then display gamma. Just leave this one on the default one. Brightness. Now this one's important. You want to change this value. It should be on 50 to 55. This will uh, give you a little bit of color into your game. Make it easier to see your opponents. So you can go back. Let's go to sustainability. Now, eco mode preset. You definitely want to set this one to custom because uh, you will be saving power at the cost of your FPS. So leave this one on custom. VSync gameplay. You want this off. VSync menus 100%. Custom frame rate limit. So I have this one on custom because I don't want my PC overheating or anything like that because my PC isn't the best. So on gameplay, I have this a little bit above my monitor's refresh rate. So it's 165 hertz. I'm going to put this one on. 200 if yours is 144 put it on 160 if it's a 240 hertz monitor put this value on 240 so above 240 you want to put it to the exact value of your refresh rate below 240 you want to put it above your monitor's refresh rate so 140 if your monitor is 144 you want to put this on 160 if it's 165 you want to put this on 200 those are the most common values so i'm sure you will adapt to everyone if it's 240 just leave it on 240 360 360 60 and so on i have my menu on 60 and out of focus on 60 it doesn't really matter focused mode leave this on 90 high dynamic range hdr i have mine on off then you can go ahead and apply your settings now let's go on over to quality quality graphic presets you want to put this one on custom render resolution put it on 100 dynamic resolution you want this off upscaling you want this on fidelity fx cas vram 90 then you want variable rate shading on off now these settings are important because you don't want your game to look bad you need your game to look good to see your opponents so you need to put these settings a bit higher it's not going to cost a lot of fps just a little bit it's definitely worth the cost of fps so i definitely recommend these settings so texture resolution on normal, texture filtering and intrasopic on normal, depth of field want this off, detail quality level normal, particle resolution on normal, bullet impacts you want this on so you can see your recoil, persistent effects off, shader quality on medium, on demanding texture streaming make sure to turn this off, it's a very important setting to turn off, local texture streaming quality you want this one on low, now let's go on over to shadow and lighting, shadow quality you want this on normal, then you want everything off, off, off and low. Now environment, you want everything off and low as well, it's pretty simple. So now we're gonna go on over to view. Feel the view, I like it on 120 pretty much what everyone uses ads affected weapon field of view wide third person 80 and vehicle wide on camera this doesn't really matter but you can put off off zero 50 50 third person ads game perspective and off so i to put it on but it's off so now we're gonna go on over to interface these ones are up to you what do you like what you don't like so what matters here is over on hud so on crosshairs i like mine on static because your crosshair is gonna follow your bloom which makes it i feel like it makes it harder to hit your shots even though they will go where your crosshair is it kind of like sets you off a bit when you're aiming so i'd recommend trying it on static and seeing if you like it i feel like my aim improved a lot since i changed this setting to static so definitely look into it now just one last thing you want to uh, on an interface you have color customization you can go ahead and press it here if you want your game to look a little bit better you can change these colors to stronger ones this one is the strongest yellow the strongest blue to make your game pop a bit more so just do that to all of these colors and then you can go here and you're going to put color filter on filter 2 color filter target on both 100 and 100 this should give your game a little bit more of a pop i like it i like changing these settings a little bit to make your game look a little bit better even though it's superficial i feel like it makes the game visually more appealing so yeah these conclude all our settings so uh, if you have any questions make sure to leave them in the comments and i'll make sure to reply to every single comment thank you so much for watching and if you like the video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe